What's good, everybody? It's Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Back at it with another reaction. We got the celebrating 85 years of Marvel reaction. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, notification bells on so you don't miss when I drop a new video on the road to 5K. Man, 85 years? Woo! That's amazing. Our Me as a creator, I think Stan about Lee. these universes and what Marvel Which one is your favorite? Done. Oh, gee, you know, that's almost like asking a parent who's <laughs> his favorite child. I think I love them all. I often <laughs> look back at the early that's 60s in the famous Marvel bullpen with Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Steve Ditko creating Spider-Man, the Avengers, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Man. Four, House of Ideas. It's called that for a reason. In the comic books and in the movies, story is always the most important element. That's my secret, cat. I'm always angry. Yeah. Which is what thing? Which is what is missing with a lot of current stuff. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how crappy some you know special effects are or whether or not, you know, someone is this gender, or that gender, or anything like that. At the end of the day, it is about the story. A story will carry a lot of that other stuff way further, way further. Always got to remember that. I got to remember that as a writer, you know, and just a creator in general, but that that is so true think that we've innovated is overlapping characters and stories who the hell are you guys marvel is this That's massive canvas through which all of our humanity stories. is explored people have grown up with these comic books they've known these characters for their whole lives to me yeah. my x-men and now there's this new generation meeting them for the first time here you have the chance to be part of something much bigger than yourself some blade looks. waited a long time for this Can't team do a mark. Boy, can I you imagine the blade. fun chaos shut up oh my god I still need to see it. 85 the story years. reaches to the heart of various age ranges and cultures symbols are nothing without the women and men that give them meaning Today, we look to the future. I've always tried to do stories that the years. characters have human yeah. qualities anybody can relate to. Let's go! It's gonna be robbery. And of course, I can't leave blade. without saying Excelsior. Some of the holes here, like the original holes. But I guess, you know. Uh oh. Oh. Man. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I guess them. This is all the ones that they showed in here: Agatha, Alon, Daredevil, Born Again, Thunderbolts, Ironheart, and Captain America: Brave New World coming soon. Deadpool, Wolverine, in theaters now. Man, before we get into that, this video is sponsored by me. Hey, if you want to dive into new music, I have a catalog. Catalog. Yeah, these are not singles. These are albums. But more recently this year, I did release an album called Team Chaos. So you can listen, stream, download, purchase, all of that in the link in the description. And just, you know, check it out because I want to see if people are actually seeing this and, and going to the, the site. So anyways, guys, let me say, man, there there's some really dope stuff. I would say that. Even as a kid, you know, I watched the X-Men, I would watch the Iron Man, you know, animated show, the Spider-Man animated show, Batman Beyond. Well, that's DC, but as far as, you know, Marvel is concerned. And 
to see it in a cinematic format, you know, that's why I kept on saying Blade because, you know, that was OG, you know, even the Incredible Hulk, you know, these are just staples and seeing it come to life, like the Iron Man, as far as the MCU Iron Man is fire, not even going to lie. The spider Man's I definitely like. The Doctor Stranges, it's like, as I got older, there's more and more characters that I just related to and just really enjoyed their stories. And it says, story's the most important thing. That's why it's wild, a lot of the stuff that's been coming out, you know, but the universe building to me is what's so fascinating because I'm just all like, how do I do that? How do I make this this universe of characters that are created? And I guess he said the secret to it is the fact of overlapping, you know? And that's what I like about uh, Eric July's Ripperverse because he's like, even with his first comic book, Isom Number One, there's the introduction to a lot of the other people that are now have their own comic book, at least number one of it being out, you know, like Yaira and a couple of other characters as well. So, like, I see that and I'm all like, okay, see, that's dope. And even when I think about a recent, like, top 10 uh, video, and it was talking about, like, cinematic universes that are deep in lore and everything like that. And it had, like, Lord of the Rings, um, uh, Harry Potter's, the Star Wars, you know, all these that have this deep, the Fast and Furious, you know, things like that. Marvel, I'm just thinking about all the movies that they have, whether through Sony or Disney, anything like that, all of them put together. And it is wild, everything that's been created from it. But this is cool to see. It makes me want to go watch some stuff now. <laughs> Man, but hey, let me know your favorite uh, Marvel character or movie or comic in the in the comment section but it's with composition mc that writes fiction back at it with another reaction make sure to like subscribe notification bell is on so you don't miss when i drop a new video on the road to 5k make sure to check out my description for my music books comics and more all right r.i.p stanley